Hey, Tony from Scoped Out. Proud to be one of the sponsors of the Night Force 2023 Precision Rifle Series. We get asked a little bit on this getting a PRS, what sort of scope do I need? One thing you want to have a look at when you're getting into the PRS is you need the first focal plane scope. Locking turrets or exposed turrets are very handy. It doesn't have to be locking, um, but exposed turrets for sure. Magnification and range. Depends on your rifle. So if you're running a rimfire setup, you might go for something like a little 3 to 18 or 4 to 20. Um, otherwise, you're looking 5 to 25, you know, 5 and a half to 30s, 4 to 32, 7 to 35s, and so on. Um, another thing is your adjustment choice um, MOA or MRAD. Most people running MRAD helps if you're all talking the same language um, rather than trying to convert MRAD back into MOA. Um, so plenty of little options we've got, you know, from the Leica PRS here, we've got Burris up to the XTR Pros, the Horus Hovers, entry level from Zero Tech, uh, the Vengeance. We'll go and have a look over here. We've got the beautiful Night Force ATAC. This would be uh, probably the top of most people's choice as well. Really great option. Others from Carlos, Zeiss, lots of up options for uh, scopes when it comes to getting into PRS. Yeah, so give us a ring, flick us an email, We'll definitely help you out, get into the sport.